Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Today I wanna to show you an application that I haven't shown on the channel here before. It's called You Know Me, and I think after you see some of the devices that it can connect to, you'll understand right away why I wanna show you this at home automation application here today. So, let's get going right away. Welcome. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a new application named Yonomi. I'm going to create an account here. I'm just showing you right off the start. Obviously, I'm not going to show you all of kind of what I'm creating here. But once you go ahead and create that account, you will, of course, have to verify the account with the email you put in. And you will, of course, have to accept some terms of, of service here. So. Now, I think you're gonna to want to allow it to send you notifications. Right off the bat, once you've created the account, you know me wants to search for your devices and you can see the massive list in my home that it's instantly found. So it's found my Echo devices, it's found my Wemos, it's found my Harmony, it's found Philips Hue, and you know, that's just the start here. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna click next and you've got to go ahead and you've got to connect each of the accounts that it said it needed to connect. So the first one's my Logitech one. I used a Google account to sign up with Logitech. And as soon as you input some of your information here, you go ahead and you get those two accounts connected. And it will instantly show you that you do have two devices set up on your network. I have a Harmony Hub and a Harmony Hub 2. So it's just showing you that those are now connected and you can control both of those from this application. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit next here. And the next thing is our Philips Hue. So it's just walking you along here through all of the accounts that need authorization to get you connected here. Now again with Hue, I just used a Google account so I'm just gonna go ahead, sign in with that, and I have to grant permission between Yonomi and Philips Hue here. It's created a Philips Hue account connection as well as asking us to go ahead and connect the hub. So you do have to go press the link button on your Philips Hue hub, and Yonomi is actually creating two separate connections here that they will use both remotely and while in your home. So the Hue Hub is of course for inside your home and the account is for when you're outside your home. Now setting up your location actually allows you to trigger events or trigger routines here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up a location here and I'm just gonna set up my home location. You could add more locations for when you get to work or you go to another location that you want to trigger some kind of smart home or home automation off of. So now that's about it. We're ready to really now go through the app and I'll just give you a quick run through of the app. I'll show you how to do a few things. Now they go ahead and they create a few routines for you. All my lights on, all my lights off. You can turn everything off or you can say TV time and there's also a party time routine. So down at the bottom you can see there's a things and a routines and then some recommendations. So there's kind of three extra parts to this whole application. Now within one of those routines, and again they pre-created this, I didn't do anything, you can see that when I arrive at home they're going to turn on pretty much everything and, and you can go ahead and decide what you want to allow to turn on here. So, you know, you can go ahead and you can edit that. We're gonna come back and do that here in a little bit. Now, when I leave home, you can see they're going ahead and they're gonna, go, they're gonna turn off pretty much everything in your home. If you tap the edit button up at the top, you can actually remove devices, add actions, add conditions, or add a separate event if you wanna change the event that kind of triggers this whole thing here. So I'm just gonna go ahead, save that one. So you can see the routine was updated. The recommendations are really just a set of 
different routines that you know me wants to put out there wants to show you how to use their application there I'm not gonna really go through any of those but you can have a look if you want to now up in the top left there is a gear so you know that usually puts you into some settings here and this application is no different you can see your account you can see what's connected you can actually go in and, and view which devices are there if you were to add another device on any of these accounts you could actually click refresh and it would go and grab those other devices Within clients, this is if you have multiple devices. So if you had an Android tablet like I do, that shows up there when you get them all connected. Again, you can change your locations. And then here, these are the supported devices. Now, this is a massive list. I'm not gonna go through everything, but I am gonna tell you about a couple very, very interesting things. Or they're interesting to me at least because they're unique to you know me here right there there it is sonos play one so that's your standard sonos speaker and you can connect the standard sonos speaker here within you know me and once you have it connected to any of the other applications in the world you know be it your amazon echo or your google home you can then go ahead and control your Sonos Play One. So that's just the standard Sonos Play One speaker. And this is the only application I have access to right now that will allow me to control a standard Sonos speaker. The other things I really like seeing here, you know, the Wemo devices, this isn't specific to you know me, but the Belkin Wemo air purifier, crock pot, and the coffee. I think those are pretty interesting little devices. At some point, I want to get a couple of those and actually use them in my home. The jawbone set here and with things, those two are not integrated with a lot of other applications. And so if you have either of those kind of fitness devices, you can use you know me to integrate now of course with an application like this i do want to show you how to create a routine and i also want to show you how to add new things so here's the thing section up in the top right you can actually click that little magnifying glass with the y in it and it will go ahead and search for devices on your network this is really the only way to add devices or our quote unquote add things to the application. So it does a quick little search. It may or may not find anything depending on what you have on your network. For myself, we just found everything on my network, so it's not gonna find anything else here. So it's saying discovery's complete. Now, of course, if you had things there, it would be the same setup process as the start of this video here. So now let's head over to the routines and I'm gonna click again up at the top, the top right, there's a little plus. So we're gonna create a new routine here. And I'm just gonna set this with a trigger from a device. So, you know, I really like the fact that, you know, me is including my Wemo devices when that switch is turned on. If I wanted to add a second event, I could, but I wanna go ahead. Now, what do I wanna do? I'm just gonna send a notification. I could trigger on other devices and this is, you know, this is where I think the application kind of sets itself apart. You can actually trigger a number of other devices based on just one, but for now, I'm just gonna set the notification here that I'm going to get on my phone here. So just saying, here's a notification. I could add a condition such as, you know, time of day, or if another device is on or off, but I'm just gonna call it test notification here and we've gone ahead, we've created a routine. So you'll be able to see it in my list here, just at the bottom there. And you know, it kind of has a nice little icon that actually shows the two things. So now just going over to my things here, I'm gonna tap on the Christmas tree and it's actually on right now cause it's later at night and I've been using it. So I'm just gonna turn it off and then I'm gonna go ahead 
and tap on the turn on and you'll see the notification come in pretty quickly thereafter. So there you go. And it says exactly what I asked. It's not a text message, it's a push notification. So there you have it. That's really it for this application. Now, of course, in the future, we're gonna get this application connected to some of our voice assistants, and we're going to go ahead and connect to a Sono speaker. So the, all in all, you know, I'd say this is a great application. I hope you've already found a use for yourself here. If you haven't, like I said, once we get those Sono speakers connected, I think just about everyone's going to have a pretty good use here for you know me. All right, well, there you go. So I think through the demo, you're gonna see some great functionality there, some things that you can apply to your home automation system. It's all a free app, so that's great as well. And you know, I think the big thing that I showed there is the Sonos Play 1, Play 3, Play 5, all of those speakers from Sonos are now something you can integrate into your home automation or smart home system here. So, of course, as we go forward, I'm gonna show you how to connect with your Google Home and your Alexa-enabled Echo devices or your Alexa-enabled device. So, you know, this is a really strong application and it has a lot of great applications here in your home. So, I'm gonna show you that in future videos and of course, if you wanna see more about this application, more about your Google Home, more about your Amazon Alexa, well, go ahead, click that subscribe. We'd love to have you on the channel. So, until next time, we'll see ya.